In this video, we are going to talk about the African American history timeline from 1619 to 2008. In 1619, the first African American servants arrived in American colonies. Less than a decade later, the first slaves are brought into New Amsterdam, now New York City. By 1690, every colony has slaves. In 1739, the Stono Rebellion, one of the earliest slave revolts, occurred in Stono, South Carolina. In 1808, Congress bans foreign importation of slaves. 1831, in Boston, William Lloyd Garrison begins publication of anti-slavery newspaper, The Liberator, and becomes a leading voice in the abolition movement. 1831 to 1861, Approximately 75,000 slaves escapes to North using the Underground Railroad. 1846 Ex-slave Frederick Douglass publishes the anti-slavery North Star newspaper. 1849 Harriet Tubman escapes from slavery and becomes an instrumental leader of the Underground Railroad. 1850 Congress passes another Fugitive Slave Act which mandates government participation in the capture of escaped slave. Boston citizens, including some of the wealthiest, storms a federal courthouse in an attempt to free escape Virginia slave Anthony Burns. 1857 Congress does not have the right to ban slavery in the state. Slaves are not citizens. 1860 Abraham Lincoln is elected president angering the southern states. 1861 The Civil War begins between northern state and southern state. North part wanted to abolish slavery, whereas the south part supported slavery. 1863 Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation proclaims that all slaves in rebellious territories are forever free. 1863 Massachusetts 54th Regiment of African American troops, led by Robert Gould Saw, marches out of Boston on May 28, heading into combat. 1865, the Civil War ends. The 13th Amendment to the Constitution, prohibiting slavery, is ratified. Lincoln is assassinated. The era of Reconstruction begins. 1866. The Black Codes are passed by all white legislators of the former Confederate States. 1868 The 14th Amendment is ratified, defining citizenship and granted citizenship to all persons born or naturalized in the United States, which included former slaves recently freed. 1870 The 15th Amendment is ratified, giving African Americans the rights to vote. 1877. The era of Reconstruction ends. A deal is made with Southern Democratic leader, which makes Rutherford B. Hiles president in exchange for the withdrawal of federal troops from the South, and puts an end to effort to protect the civil rights of African Americans. 1879. Thousands of African Americans migrate out of South to escape oppression. 1881. Tennessee passes the first of the Jim Crow segregation law, segregating state railroads. Similar laws are passed over the next 15 years throughout the southern states. 1887. Augustus St. Gaudian unveiled the standing Lincoln statue in Lincoln Park, Chicago. 1896. Pelsinia v. Pergerson case. Racial segregation is ruled constitutional by the Supreme Court. The Jim Crow, separate but equal law begins, bearing African American from equal access to public facilities. 1897. Augustus St. Gaudens unveils the Saw Memorial in Boston Common. 1954. Brown v. Board of Education case strikes down segregation as unconstitutional. 
in Montgomery, Alabama, Rosa Parks is arrested for breaking a city ordinance by refusing to give her seat on a public bus to a white man. This defiant act gives initial moment to the civil rights movement. 1957 Martin Luther King Jr. and others set up the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, a leading engine of the civil rights movement. 1964 The Civil Rights Act is signed, prohibiting discrimination of all kinds. 1965 The Voting Rights Act is passed, outlawing the practice used in the South to disenfranchise African American voters. 1967 Edward W. Brooke became the first African-American U.S. Senator since Reconstruction. He serves two terms as a Senator from Massachusetts. 1968 Martin Luther King Jr. is assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee. 2008 Barack Obama becomes the first African-American to win the U.S. presidential race. Thank you.